بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو گائز ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو ٹوٹوریل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ کنیکٹنگ ٹو میس کیول آر پی پی ایم آئی ایڈمین زیمپ وین اٹس پورٹ از چینج نا ایف آئی شو یو ہیا ان دس براؤزر ان دس زیم کنٹرول پینل آور میس کیول از رننگ آن دا پورٹ تھری تھری ون زیرو Uh, at the default port, but this is 3306, which is already uh, on which of my SQL workbench or my SQL server is already running. So I have installed this as well as the XAMPP server. So now I change the uh, port of this XAMPP. And if you want to see how to change the port of XAMPP, so the video is available in the card uh, above. Now we are going to connect to this now if i show you here in the browser i'm only only connected it to it uh, in the browser we have created this uh, student db and in the student db we have this uh, uh, student table and which has these two records uh, mik and father name gol and tanvir and father name ahmad now i'll fetch uh, this name or uh, father names from this table so we will go to visual studio code and first we will create a file so file new file and i'll name this uh, uh connect php my admin dot php and now i'll click enter now it will ask ask me to say where to save it so i'll uh, save it in my uh, xamp htdocs folder so for this i will come to the c and here i have installed xamp and here we have htdocs and now i'll create the file now the file is created so first we will write the connection or first we will write the php tag so i'll use php and then i'll end this tag now as we have ended this tag now we will connect so first i will create dollar connection and here we will get the connection so my is ky underscore connect and here i'll pass in the server name so our server is local server so local host now if it were it was using the default uh, 3306 uh, port uh, then we do not need to mention the port for PHP my admin here but now we are using the port 3310 so we have to mention it so I'll use 3310 now then it takes the username so I'll I'm using the root user and uh, we do not have then it takes a part password but we do not have any password so I'll put this empty and then it takes the database so our database is student db as i have already shown you now let me show you this again now if i go to browser so this is our student db now as we have written the code for the connection then we will check it if not dollar connection or if connection is not equal uh, to uh, equal to equal to false so then do what die and here we will use uh, error and dot my scale lie connect error and then we will put semicolon here now I'll put a space here now this is done and uh, then we will use else if it is not uh, then uh, echo connection established now i'll put semicolon here and now i'll control s it and now we will go to 
or uh, 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 browser and here I will open a new tab so localhost and then connect uh, to what is the file name if I go here and see it connect php my admin dot php connect php my admin dot php and now hit enter now connection established as you see now we will go here and fetch the data so I'll uh, remove this line of code and now here we will write a query so dollar a query equals uh, select static from std underscore table if I show you this uh, where it is it is here you can see std underscore table now I'll go again here and I'll put a semicolon here now our query is created so we will uh, use dollar stmt equals and here we will use my sqli underscore query this one and here I'll pass in the connection and then the query and now I'll put semicolon here then we will fetch the data so dollar row it will fetch the data uh, or I will use while loop while and here I'll use dollar row equals uh, my scale i underscore fetch array this one and here I'll pass in dollar stmt and uh, my sqli this one and then we will put curly braces here now we will get the data so uh, I will use uh, echo and here I'll pass in uh, uh, pass the row dollar row and here we will use uh, dollar single quotes and here I will pass in the name and then um, I'll use concatenation and then I will use single quotes some space and then concatenation and here I will use dollar row and here I'll use uh, single quotes F name as we have uh, two columns here name and father name if I show you here in the browser so this is name and this is F name now I'll uh, go here and append a break to it so I'll use single quote single quote and then I'll use this and forward slash br and this so it will um, print the second uh, record on a new line so now I'll control s it now we will go to our browser and uh, we will go to our, this one and now I will refresh this now you can see mik goal and Tanvir Ahmad uh, is printed now if I show you here in the database here so name is mik and father name is goal and Tanvir and Ahmad is father name so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you